how did this documentary come about for you? Like, how did you get involved? Uh, well, I've known Craig for, uh, I've known Craig since 2004 when he was a prosecutor back then. And um, he asked me to come and get involved. With he goes, hey, why don't you come and run with us? He goes, I started running with some guys right here. And I said, where at? And he said, skid roll. And I said, what? And so I ended up going over there and um, I started running. And at first I wasn't a good runner. And I, I tell people it took me like three, four years to get into it. And once I got in, and you know, now that I'm, now I love it. You know what I mean? Everybody goes, hey man, you lost 30, 40 pounds and this and that. And um, it's something very exciting. But I think the, the most exciting thing is that this is like an extended family. And everybody supports and encourages each other. And uh, when somebody falls, somebody's there to pick them up. And it's very powerful. And we're just, we're just like one happy family helping each other. And it just keeps growing and growing. And it's something that, you know, you just can't take anything away from it negatively. But everything is positive and everything is very good. What is the hardest part about running? The hardest part about running? Um, for, for me, I, I, don't, I don't find anything. But the most problems that I hear from other people is getting up early, um, getting there, getting there. But you know what? If you want to, you can do it. I mean, I was running at 2 in the morning preparing to go to Rome to practice because I was working all day. So I was running at 2 in the morning from um, Washington and Hoover all the way to Culver City and back. That was 12 miles. And I was doing it. If you want to, you can, you know? And then I would go to work. So what is the best thing that running has given you? The best thing that running has given to me is uh, my health, good friends. Um, it's, it's just endless. It's innumerable. You can't count it. You can't measure it in one hand. And um, I love it. And um, I run a lot by myself. Some people come and run with me now. And it's just something that, you know, that, you know you, you, I get so much out of it. And other people are getting it. It's just, it just trickles down to everybody. And I've seen the film already. Um, every single runner is just so inspiring, but I think you might be the most inspiring to me. So I was just wondering what inspires you? Um, when I was in prison, what inspired me for 29 years was my mom, trying to get out to see my mom. She was coming to visit me every month, and um, I wanted to come out and let her see me come out. I wanted her to be alive. So I did every effort to, to do that. Yeah. And did you ever see yourself on carpet, or I guess there's no carpet, but a, a festival like this? Did you ever no. see yourself? No, How never. Did you feel? Never. Um, you know, and um, the consulate, I'm, I'm Dominican descent. So, you know, my, my, the consulate, she's here with me. You know, she's, she's one of my best friends, and the consulate and the attorney general from the Dominican Republic both were writing letters to the governor over here to let me out. So it's something very big, and, and you know, and the, it's just, this is what pushes me, too, to keep doing good, because I had so many people with, so I had a great support system behind me, and this, and this is all for them. What piece of advice would you give to someone that is in prison and doesn't feel like there's hope, or what would you tell them, if you could? Someone was there, I would say, someone where you're at, someone was there before. And where I'm at, you can be here. All you got to do is just make the effort, try, and just say to yourself every day some positive affirmations. Early in the morning, I used to say, this too shall pass. Or this is a new day. I'm going to make this a better day. You know, and if somebody's going to get out of here, I'm going to get out of here. And I've heard of so many stories of people that had life without, people that had the death penalty, and they're free. And, you know, they wrote books or they did whatever they had to do, but they made their story possible, and they got out. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, and enjoy the festival. Thank you.